Well, welcome back to the All Things ITSM Global Podcast. I'm Kirsty McGowan. I'm here with Patrick Bolger and Carlos Casanova. Kirsty. And we now have Melanie Karuna Ratney from Landis joining us. Hello. Welcome, Melanie. Thank you. Welcome. So I understand this is your first time it, at HDI. Yes, it is. It's really exciting. It is my first time. I've done shows like Pink before, but HDI, very first time over. So how, how are you finding, what's different about the other events you've been to? What, is there anything that stands out that... Uh... So, well, certainly because we've got an expo booth here, mm -hmm. um, and it's been manic. Yeah. We, we, uh, we were surprised. Really busy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. really busy. That's great. So that's been good. We've had mm -hmm. some really good conversations. But also going into the, the sessions mm. as well, they've been really strong as well, mm. um, the, the couple of sessions that I've managed to get into, because we've been so busy on the booth. Yeah. But, so um, when you say really busy, really busy swag grabbing, or really no, busy that's what looking I mean. for having, charge having for solutions? actual conversations. Right, yeah. okay. Um, really good. And it's, it's having, having conversations not just about needing a new tool, mm. but just having conversations about challenges yeah. Right. In general. Nice. Right. And what, so, what are you finding that's, that's common? What are they coming up to you and mm -hmm. saying, hey, we're struggling in these areas? Is there any kind of common trends or patterns mm -hmm. of what people... Yeah, I mean, honestly, as we know, there's not an awful lot of um, people out that service desks out there that have Greenfield, yeah. no. not no. anything. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of challenges with older systems that right. are yeah. in place that people are struggling to... Mm -hmm now get value out of because yep. their worlds have moved on you know yes. the role that they yep. had the role that the organization had their you know their customers or their employees what they need and what they want mm. has changed dramatically yeah um, and uh, that, it always kills me when organizations um take that kind of standpoint and they you know, we'd like to change the service mm. management solution but we can't and it's not really a critical system mm. i'm thinking hold on yeah yeah this has got all your information. Yeah. Where, what do you need when one of your critical systems goes down? What's yeah. the thing you need most? Right. Your yeah. service management solution. Yeah. Yeah. And normally exactly. when they take that stance, yes. they're like, actually, you've got a point. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, exactly. Yeah. And, and it's you know, really scary in, mm. in some organizations, if it's banking or finance or a university where, yeah, as you said, the service desk tool yeah. is, or the service mm. desk team is absolutely critical yeah. to... Yeah. Yeah. And I've seen some of that they don't consider that a, one of their high availability needs. Yeah. They're like, wait, when you have a yeah. disaster, yeah. Yeah. when you have yeah. 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 the one that you need. Who do you yeah. call, as they say in yeah. Ghostbusters? Yeah. Who, do you, who do you call? Yeah, yeah. 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 exactly right. But so often it's actually left com almost completely out of yeah. any disaster. Yeah. Oh, disaster it, 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 I see it all the time. And I just I just scratch my head. I'm like, are you missing something? And no, no, no. It's like, yeah, I'm trying to be nice here, you know? Yeah. It's it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. And it's and it's not just in the the um, availability, but mm. also in the way that analysts and people who work on the service desk yeah. are treated. So yeah. I was in a session this morning that talked about you know self-service, but also training yeah. your analysts and and you know people putting their hands up as how many times a week do you train your analysts? Yes. And there's only a few people who actually do who were training, mm. and you're thinking, well, hang on, these are the guys that are on the front line. But yeah. if there is a disaster, they're the ones that need to handle these things. Yeah. They need to understand. You know how to how to deal with these situations, mm. but also how to deal with customers because yeah. we're in a new world. Mm. Actually, I was talking at an event a while ago, yeah. and I just asked a question to people mm. and said, "How often do you survey your customers?" And then, like you know, usually mm. ask for some hands for yeah. annually, yeah. Yeah. once yeah, yeah. a week, once mm. a month, and then I just asked, "How often do you survey your service desk stuff?" Yeah. Never. Nobody, nobody no. was doing it. No. Nobody they, was doing it. They don't you have their sense, opinions. You want a yeah. sense of what's going on in your service desk? Yeah, ask yeah. the staff. Mm. But, but it's interesting. You know, you, you just made me think of something. You know, on the DR, you know, the disaster mm. recovery side. You know, I spent several mm. years on disaster recovery, business continuity, and I don't recall a lot of them even including mm. the services. What they no. do, their DR and yeah. VC, is, oh, we're going to run these tests and make sure the systems are. So, well, mm. shouldn't you be testing? the actual mm. folks yeah, exactly. that are going to have to support it during that event? Yeah, exactly. Oh, no, that's yeah, that's just yeah. Yeah, something else. We'll make it. Yeah, mm. in the same no. way that a hospital emergency plan is is practiced yeah. and practiced, mm. they should be doing the same thing Absolutely. on the service. Well, I, I love the analogy when I was talking to mm. one of our guys at the office, and he was yeah. basically trying to express the importance of the people mm. element. And we basically say to an organization, look, what would happen if we took away all your toys, all your technology yeah. came away, all your process mm. got taken away as well, and, and you had nothing, how, would you be able to operate? And they said, well, yeah, we would. We'd have people answering the phone, phone and yeah. we were relying on their knowledge mm -hmm. and they'd be writing stuff mm -hmm. down. And they'd be yeah. like, right, okay, so Let's instead of investing in all of the other stuff, yeah. Yeah. why don't you start there mm -hmm. and invest in that, mm -hmm. get that bit right, because yeah. that's a bit that works when everything else is removed. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, not, you know, not to go back to you know, 9-11, that's basically what ended up happening, right? Yeah. Everybody had to go back to the fallback, which is, yes. hey, Bob, you know, yeah. and because nothing else was there. Well, it's amazing. I mean, yeah. you had various different mm. systems that just mm. didn't talk to it's each other. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, and yeah. therein the, was mm. a problem. They relied on people talking to each other. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. it gets to the, the conversations about knowledge and stuff that we've been having. It's the knowledge that never makes it into those articles, into the documents, yes. into the structures. The knowledge is still in mm. your head. Yeah. And now it's just, you know, through a phone or whatnot, so... Uh, yeah. That's actually what my presentation is all about tomorrow. Yes. Ah. Yes. Uh, and you're going to go yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're all set now. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> but, yeah, you're right. I mean, it's that, that whole tribal knowledge thing. If, mm. if you don't transfer that mm. into, you know, it, into the heads of yeah. other people and the systems, then, you know, if something happens, mm. then you've got an issue. If yeah. that person walks out the door, you've got yeah. an issue. Yeah. Um, and at the end of the day, you're... Also, your customers or your end users or employees, however you like to refer to them, transferring that knowledge to them is only going to empower them to help themselves yeah. as well. Yeah, um, absolutely. Which is going to help the service desk ultimately. Yeah, and it helps. Really, sharing knowledge helps yeah. everybody. But yeah. I mean, there's also people out there who don't want to share the knowledge because they think if they don't share it, it keeps their job safe. A little yeah. job security, yeah. 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 That's changing, though. It, yeah, absolutely. It is, it is starting to it's change. It's actually yeah. the... the Absolute opposite yeah. of job security. Yeah. And yeah. I, I tell people, it's like, do you want to keep doing this five years from yeah. now? Like, yeah. oh no, it's just, yeah. then you need to yeah. bring that next person on, That's share right. that knowledge, and move up. Yeah. But I think, again, back to the culture in the in the workplace in certain companies will penalize mm. them for that. Yeah. Mm. And they feel vulnerable mm. if they no longer have yeah. that lock on that yeah. on that knowledge. Well, that's, that, that is changing as well. Mm. The com command and control, people really, yeah. it doesn't work. It no, really yeah. doesn't it work. Doesn't. You, you no. need to have more of these networks yes. and trust. And, yeah. 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 You know what it is? It's ownership. I mean, there's so much yeah. about, once people feel that they actually own part of that solution, mm. they're going to do it because it's the right thing to do. Yes. They're going to go out of their way, whether the structure is there or not, mm -hmm. but they know, you know what, I own part of this. Yeah. I'm, you know, mm -hmm. I, I have a, a sense of ownership mm -hmm. and value in that, and I'm going to do it because it's the right thing to do. Yeah. So. so, Molly, what's big at Landesk at the moment? What are you guys so making noise about we right are, now? We're mm -hmm. making lots of noise about mm -hmm. the world of service management yeah. in general. We're, we're very focused on that end user, end customer, end employee yeah. experience, mm -hmm. right. really focused on that rather than the technology yeah. and the features and the mm -hmm. tools. So it's, it's that experience that mm -hmm. we're giving or we're allowing service desks to, to give yeah. to their customers that we're really interested in at the moment because we believe that the more that you can em empower those mm -hmm. people, the happier they are, the more strategic IT can be because yeah. they can go off and do other things. Uh, so you, you're referring to things because <clears throat> we're doing things in that area mm. as well, things yeah. like peer-to-peer -peer support mm. yeah. and those type of things. And rather Absolutely. than, rather than, oh yeah, it's, it's not yeah. our, you know, actually embracing, embracing, embracing it. Embracing yeah. it yeah. And exactly. say to people, look, this stuff is happening anyway. Mm. And people talk to their colleagues, yes. they, they ask in mm. various different communities and stuff, right. how do I do this? Yeah. Formalize it, make it happen, encourage yes. it. And yes. Like, and, yeah. and then at least you get visible to share. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And it's also about making IT yeah. so simple, so automatic yeah. that your, you know, your your customers can do anything they want, no matter where they are, what, mm. what platforms, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah. And and again, it's about that experience. So yeah. surrounding them in that kind of simple environment, mm. hiding the technology away yeah. from them. So we we talk an awful lot about unifying our um, IT services and our IT automation to get a better service delivery for. Yeah. So it is, I mean, yeah. it's about providing value to the customer it's at the end. Absolutely. It's, you know, when people come to us, we the first thing we do is, you know, if they've purchased our tool, mm. it's not, okay, let's go and put the tool in. Yeah. It's, okay, what is it you're trying to yes. achieve? Yeah. We don't. We are not going to put mm. the process that you had in your mm. last... Oh, which, <laughs> oh, which, yeah. oh we kid right, you not. Yeah. You're asked for yeah. that so many yeah. times. So many times. I see it all the time. It's not going to happen. So, so right, you're, yeah. you're Here's what we did. Can you make it 2014? You're, you're yeah. paying me to replace the tool. Yeah, that you didn't like. <laughs> and now you want me to replicate the, <laughs> the processes. Yeah. That, yeah. 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 So you said you had unhappy customers previously. How's this going to change? You need to make the customers happy. You need to to empower yeah. them mm. you need to automate things so that yeah. you can get your you know your service desk staff mm. onto more interesting things so they're motivated yeah. um so that you're reducing your costs all of these mm. kind of things is I, what I, we're trying yeah. to i was doing a presentation i can't remember i think it was in estonia it was called confessions of an itsm vendor yeah and uh, there's a, a fat boy <laughs> sleep song called yeah. eat sleep rave repeat and that's yeah. what i was yeah. saying <laughs> most service desks do you know mm. you too yeah. great yeah. Yeah. yeah and yeah. because you get a lot of focus and attention mm. on service management on your process mm. on the tool at the same of implementation, mm. it's fantastic. Yeah. 
But then the vendor leaves and you get on with your mm. day job yeah. and people do go to sleep. Mm. Mm-hmm. And then three years, four years down the line, they're banging tables, this tool is useless, yeah. and then exactly. they get rid of it. And you make the same mm. mistakes all exactly. over again. Exactly. And horrendous. I haven't thought about maybe, well, what we need to also think about is what they, what other systems they have in place. Because yeah. if you're not utilising what you've got now, yes. again, there's a you know there's a waste there in resources mm. and, right. and everything. It's a bit like go out and buy a new washing machine and then not yeah. plumb it in properly. Well, that's right. Yeah. 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 Well, the, the requirements yeah. list, you know, exactly. you, you get dumped a, a document, yeah. yay you take, which says you need to deliver mm. 27 processes. They invent mm. a few that, yeah. <laughs> according yeah. to Whitesell, that, yes. you know, they're never yeah. going to deploy. Right. Mm. And yeah. it's, it's heartbreaking, isn't it, as yeah. a vendor, to, to yeah. see people invest in stuff yeah. that you know they're never going to use. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I remember one customer I went and they, they literally did a, a change management plan for something they were doing, and it literally had about 70 tasks coming yeah. off this one change management yeah. plan. And I said to them, Tom, you don't, you really don't want to do that. Yes, we Stop do. It. We really need it's to do that. And they, they, yeah. it's like you're so, not going to do yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they, did, they, they didn't. <laughs> well, you're doing it. Yeah, fail. yeah. <laughs> and I just waited. And I went back six months later, and we, yeah. and we simplified. We started it. again. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And it's, but they had to try that out themselves. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes, yeah, that yeah. is what they have to do. Yeah. They have they to go do. through yeah. that cycle, and yeah. you know, yeah, you know, we have to have these these confirmation sets. These people have to approve it twenty different times. But uh, yeah. Yeah. and then when really they get thirty thousand, you yeah. know, approval records yeah. like yeah. It, <laughs> overnight, yeah. they're like, I can't do this anymore. Yeah. No, no, that's, no, that's, that's really exactly good. right. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure to yeah. have you here to, to chat with today, Melanie. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your HDI experience. I'm sure I will. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks for your time. Thank you. It's been Thank, you. Thank you. Thanks.